Tupac movement was born in violence, but they explicitly advocate divisiveness in society. And because they send the message that you can achieve your ends not through democracy, not through progress, but through the use of violence, attacks, and suppression, that we must reject this motion. Now, if they merely prove that the Black Bloc movement is not a group of terrorists, and they have won the debate, well, we will concede that on the front. We will concede that the Black Bloc movement is not a group of terrorists. <coughs> But we will not concede that it's not harmful to democracy. Movement in the streets. They began by attacking eight outposts of the Muslim Brotherhood. Political outposts, not outposts of the government, not outposts of the military, not outposts of the police, but legitimate forms of political expression. And it seems odd to me. Political, legitimate agendas. And this is another thing we need to realize. Because they portray the black bloc as nobles. That they are people seeking only to promote expression in Egypt. And that position, that characterization is a lie. The Black Bloc mo movement has very specific policies that they are allowed to preemptively use violence against the government, that Islamic forces should be kept out of government, that they are explicitly opposed to a non-secular society, that they are in fact feel no obligation to conform with the legitimate democratic demands of Egyptian society. So is there corruption in Egypt? Yes, there is corruption in Egypt, but that isn't what the Black Bloc movement justification and no respect for the social contract and for the proposition to characterize that as a pro-democratic movement is a lie. So are you saying that political movements can never justify using violence? Like I feel like there's got to be some times where violence yes. is okay. We agree. It is, there are cases under which a political movement can use violence. That is significant. A political violent cannot preemptively use violence as a tool of suppression against another political group, which they did against outposts of the Muslim Brotherhood. That is the key distinction here. They aren't attacking the government, they're attacking their enemies. So what the past, we as a society were suckered into believing that we needed to give up our civil liberties. The documents didn't change, our mindset changed. And if you are going to foster democracy in an emerging society like Egypt, it is the mindset of democracy that must be protected. So what does it do when we support the black bloc? There are growing pains towards a democratic society. But we have seen success. We've seen protesters manage to change government policy. We've seen the military support the populace. We've seen the Supreme Court take an activist stance against a corrupt parliament. There is progress. You can get change. You can make progress occur. Yes. Okay, so I don't care if you think the sons of liberty were good or bad terrorists. I care about them because they were a good society because they got to us here today. I have no idea what you're talking about. That was a <laughs> revolution against a sovereign state that was opposing oppression on the United States. The idea that this is somehow parallel to a system where there's legitimate avenue for reform in Egypt that has worked in the past is simply fallacious. So, what does the Black Bloc movement do when it's supported in Egypt? The message it sends to the populace is you do not need to defend them. Then you destroy the faith of the public in the democratic process. You tell them, yeah, I can play the game when it benefits me, but when it doesn't benefit me, I can ignore it. This is the very abuse that they told us about Morsi that we need to combat. We need to tell the Egyptian populace when you trust in democracy, you can get progress and supporting a group. Rampant, where political offices are co-opted because people don't believe in the fundamental efficacy of the system. What we recognize on the opposition is democracies are not about words on a page. They aren't about people in office. They're about the belief of the public in the very idea of democracy. When you legitimize a group that advocates preemptive violence against other forms of political expression, you necessarily undermine that.
is because we stand on the opposition for a truly democratic...